Hey, I want to do a quick little um, segment on how to draw new swaps and have a little discussion on how to use pivots. Um, with a peg layer, you're only allowed one pivot position. So um, that is what you want to do and what you want to limit yourself to when you're using a cutout rig when you're creating one. Um, the concept is that um, after you've posed out the front view of the rig, uh, then you're going to keyframe everything to move to where you need it to go next. So, you know, like for the quarter front view, you would position it so that the arm is in the right place. And then once it's in the right place, you can create a new drawing swap, create an empty drawing swap. Um, you can sketch it. And then I like to go to the drawing view and turn on my onion skin, Alt O so that I can see where the previous swap had been. And then I will touch this up and make it look nice. And then I'll, I'll press Alt O, turn off the onion skin, forward and backward a swap. So I can just kind of compare. I, I don't like to leave the onion skin on the entire time whenever I'm doing a swap because um, it looks confusing to me. Okay, so then once I have it working nicely, and this is kind of like traditional animating, you know, you'd have your light table, you'd kind of get the idea of what you need, but then you turn the light table off, and you just flip back and forth between the paper to see how it feels. Okay, so then I would draw it here and uh, ink it and make it look nice. And here's what's great about doing this method. Because I moved, I keyframed, I used the transform tool, animate current frame, I was on the peg, I move the peg to where it needs to be before it swaps. It has the pivot position and then I create the empty drawing swap and I draw what I need. That way in the future, whenever I go to swap these drawings using the bracket keys, the hand will stay in place. It won't be bouncing all over the place. Sometimes I see people, they, they um, import a turnaround, they build the front view of the character here and then they create empty drawing swaps and then they they create all of the new swaps over at the next place where the quarter front is. Do not do that, please. Because you can't get that front view to tween over to the other one. So we, we move the image reference first, then we keyframe the piece to where it needs to be. So let me just give you an idea of what you do not want to be doing, okay? All right, so I just showed you the right way. Now let me show you the wrong way. Let's create an empty drawing swap. And let's say that there was an image that we were kind of tracing and the hand was over here. Okay. In older tutorials you'll find all over the web, um, you'll see that people are using this uh, drawing pivot tool. Please don't use this if you're making modern day cutout animation rigs. Like there are special occasions to use this for, but you have to know the rules to break the rules, okay? I've used this like twice in the last three years. Most of the time when I set pivots, I'm using the pegs and I'm using the rotate tool, okay? So this is what some people do. They'll go to the hand layer that they're on and they'll say, okay, the pivot should be over here. on that drawing. Wow, that's pretty fun. And then the pivot should be over here on this drawing. And right now it, it has like some setting like use embedded pivot on parent peg. So it's saying whatever one of those pivot things that you set here make the parent peg pivot from there. Okay, this would keep it in place using the apply embedded pivot on drawing layer. Again, please do not use this feature if you're following along with my tutorials, okay? Um, because then what happens is here you are and you swap and your drawings are different sizes at different places and there's no way that those things can tween nicely to stay in place. You don't want that. So the concept I'm trying to get across is, I'm gonna press undo, Keyframe everything using rotate. I wouldn't even, um, don't do any skew like this because then if you were to go to the hand 
and create an empty swap and you're to try to draw this should be a circular tip but look at how it looks and then if you go to the drawing view you'll see that it's even more messed up so please when you're doing your keyframes um, just use the XYZ wrote the XYZ movement rotate stuff do not do skew because if I were to skew this forearm master peg in the camera view it's now affecting all the things connected below it okay so that's just quick discussion and the concept is if I'm gonna draw a new mouth then I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna move like the the mouth peg around first to get it in place and then I will go down to the mouth I'll create an empty swap and then I will draw it in place with that pivot area in mind and that way when I go to swap it with my bracket keys everything will stay in place all right so that's that's the concept let's get back to to the mouth sequence now see you soon